Hey, this is Nate Story with Bright Agritech, and I'm going to talk really quickly about UV clarifiers and or sterilizers. So we use a sterilizer in our hydroponic systems. Uh, we have used clarifiers in the past in our aquaponic systems, usually just to kind of clarify water on startup. So as things are getting going in aquaponic systems, a lot of time you have algae blooms, you kind of have all that initial weirdness uh, in regards to your, your microbiology. So once we get kind of our nitrifiers introduced to our systems, once nitrification is on track in AP systems, we'll often turn on a clarifier really quick to try and take care of some of that algae until the system kind of evens out. It's kind of the same thing in hydroponic systems, and uh, we tend to use sterilizers pretty often for controlling uh, microbes and for controlling uh, algae in the system. Now, you won't always use it long term, but for a startup, it can be really, really useful for making sure that nothing gets too far out of hand. Sterilizers or clarifiers are um, essentially just a tube, usually plastic or steel, uh, stainless steel, and there's a lamp down the middle, and inside of that lamp there's a filament that produces UV rays um, once you give it a little energy. So once you give it juice, it, um, it produces UV light and it sterilizes all of the water flowing around it. So um, basically anything in that water, anything that's flowing with that water gets killed by that UV light and uh, it prevents it from getting too out of hand. It prevents a lot of algae buildup in your system. And um, it's a simple and easy way to incorporate something into your plumbing to take care of algae and bacteria on the front end. There are other ways to deal with algae and bacteria, which we'll talk about later. But if you're just getting started, this can be a fairly inexpensive and really efficient way to take care of those pests. So these are really easy to plumb in. They come with instructions typically, and uh, they're not that complicated. Uh, we've worked with several different types over the years, and uh, we've never had any issues. They're really, really easy. Now the thing to keep in mind is that you will have to replace that bulb pretty often, and sometimes the shroud. And the shroud is actually made of um, quartz. It's a quartz shroud, it's not glass, because glass filters UV. So it's a quartz shroud, so that can get a little pricey. You don't want to break those. Um, and you do have to replace the bulb. That's really the only cost associated with it. Uh, they can be, um, can be, you know, a little bit energy intensive at times, but that really comes down to sizing the lamp to your system. You wanna make sure that you're putting in the right clarifier for the volumes you're moving, because the faster and the more water you move around it, the less effective that UV light becomes at destroying that bacteria and destroying uh, that algae in your system. So to wrap up, we use these things to control algae and bacteria. They're great for that. We don't use them all the time. We typically just use them during startup and then off and on as needed. But they're a great tool to have in your toolbox for controlling uh, the biology of your solution. Thanks so much for watching these videos. I hope that this one was useful to you. If you have any questions, make sure you get a hold of us. We love answering questions.